always like to add mushrooms to like veggies, like spinach, I guess like my greens, because it makes it like a bit more of like a meaty texture. Not that I necessarily need a meaty texture, but it just adds a little something extra in there. Fresh peeled garlic. Um, this is as fancy as I've ever been. I usually already get it minced, but I'm going to mince three cloves. And my aunt taught me a trick um, during Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna try to recreate that. Greens. I have my little bag of greens. This is or is completely different than your grandmother's um, collard greens. For Thanksgiving, I actually got a huge bushel of greens and I cut them up and I washed them and I rolled them and I cut them. It was an okay process. It did take a little bit more time than I wanted it to take this time. So either way, um, most people don't anything wrong with getting them like this but I'm still gonna wash them and clean them I'm gonna use some vinegar actually too still I need to get in the habit of cleaning all my vegetables with vinegar because of the pesticides used on veggies but I do always wash them in like kangen water which is like amazing water for you for your body um, my dad has this machine so I just I just use it when I can. So this recipe calls for a cast iron skillet. And the one we have is a big skillet, but it's older, so it probably needs to be re-seasoned. Do you know how cast iron skillets get? But we actually just got a new handy dandy wok that is also cast iron. And um, it worked great for Thanksgiving, so I'm gonna use it again. And it's huge and like round, so you can really get everything in there and cooking. So this recipe also comes out of the handy dandy Sweet Potato Soul book. Um, beautiful Janae there. Um, but this is the Tender Mess O Green, collard greens. She asked for grapeseed or canola oil, but we don't do canola oil. Instead of the canola oil or grapeseed oil, we're gonna be using the extra light um, olive oil by Bertoli, high heat cooking delicate. And then we're going to toast, saute, roast our garlic.
set the timer for 30 minutes. this to my um, soy sauce. You can just use regular soy sauce if you want. Um, but it just gives a little, I'm going to put a little bit in this cap because I don't want to accidentally do too much. So maybe about half a cap full or to your taste desires. And I'm going to do a little Lari's and a little bit more pepper because I like seasoned food. It's probably already really seasoned because we have the garlic, sea salt. I put pepper in there earlier. Why not throw a little Cajun on there? I kind of put this on everything, so. Watch your nose, it's gonna make it on the nice. And then we're gonna stir it up. Let's get into these greens. We wait all day in the kitchen just slaving away. It only took like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, I guess, if you want to count as washing the greens. Mm. You get those mushrooms, get the tomatoes. Mmm. Mm. That juice, that flavor. Mm. comment down below if you're gonna make these greens what's your favorite thing to have in your greens vegan greens hopefully <laughs> and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video and i'm gonna go enjoy my greens <laughs> thank you so much for watching this series <laughs>